As Secretary of Defense, my number one priority is the safety and well-being of our troops, their families, and our personnel around the world. As such, the Department of Defense is taking every precaution to protect our people from the coronavirus while safeguarding our national security missions and supporting the administration's whole of government approach. Since the outbreak began, we've taken a host of actions such as providing detailed guidance to our forces and equipping commanders with the resources and authorities they need to protect their troops. Most recently, we issued new travel restrictions to, from, and through areas the Centers for Disease Control have determined pose the greatest risk of exposure. I know this may change the plans of many, and I know you're concerned for your family's well-being. I'm here to tell you the department is taking every step to ensure you and your loved ones are safe, while also ensuring our military remains the most ready, capable, and lethal force in the world. Here to say more about that is the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley. Thank you, sir. And the Secretary and the SEAC and I, along with the entire Department of Defense leadership team, are committed to the health and safety of you and your families. Our culture as soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guard often drives us to push beyond our limits. But it's important, especially at this time, that we take all the prudent steps to stay healthy. The guidance provided regarding measures that we are implementing across the Joint Force will help protect you, your families, and our operational readiness. Pay particular attention to the instructions of your chain of command. We are the world's finest fighting force, and it's because of you. Keep your eye on the mission and take care of yourselves and each other. I want to reemphasize what the chairman just said. America's military is forward deployed in over 160 countries, countering violent extremism, deterring adversaries, and supporting our allies and partners. Our mission remains. We need each and every soldier, sailor, airmen, marine, and coast guardsmen healthy and ready. Take care of each other. Take care of your families, and I have no doubt we will remain ready to answer our nation's call. Thank you all very much, and please stay safe.